What is up good people? I am sitting out in the parking lot at work. I have a few minutes to kill before I go in. On my way here, I was listening to a little bit of Xbox news on the Xbox Ready YouTube channel, which is one of the few bigger channels that I actually enjoy watching. And he was referencing an article written by a games journalist named Extasis. I'm not familiar with the guy, but apparently he has a pretty good track record of being accurate in his Xbox related prognostications and predictions. And one he made for this upcoming Sunday is that an Xbox handheld will be either teased or revealed. I have been thinking about that kind of thing for quite a while. You know, there's always been rumors probably for the last 15 or so years that, you know, Microsoft might jump into the handheld game at some point. I think this is actually a good time for them to do it. You know, they're really trying to push Game Pass as, you know, their their plan for the future. That's that's the pivot that they're making. And PlayStation just flopped colossally with their portal device. And I'm hearing rumors also online that, you know, PlayStation might also debut another handheld, maybe a proper one this time. And the things I wonder about an Xbox handheld are basically is it going to be along the lines of portal where you have to be in the same room with your console and all this other crap or is it going to be a true portal or not portal that yeah, a true portable that you can take with you and you can store your games locally and not have to worry about streaming or lag or anything like that uh if it's the latter then i'm tentatively hopeful i will uh say that I guarantee a Xbox handheld is not going to have physical media as as a uh, an option which breaks my heart but that's the world that we live in and I can already hear folks saying oh you know portable gaming that's what the Nintendo Switch is for that's what the Steam Deck is for that, that's fair enough but you know the thing about the Nintendo Switch is it doesn't have a lot of the same games or types of games that you find on Xbox. I don't want to say that Xbox is more of the grown-up console. I know that'll make a lot of people bristle, but that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, I have a Switch. I'm, I'm on the outside looking in on that one. I'm in the minority in that I'm actually not a big fan of the Switch. It just, it's a wonderful device. Don't get me wrong. It's built well. It's marketed well. Tons of great games. It's just not for me. My kids love it. They each have one. And as far as the Steam Deck goes, well, the thing with that is it doesn't support Game Pass natively. I mean, yeah, you can go into a browser and, and, and you know, load up cloud gaming and stream that way. That's not the most convenient way of going about it. And it's going to subject you to a lot of the annoyances of streaming, such as lag and, and uh, you know, some control delays. But, I'm not going to say it, but... I know there are other options for mobile gaming as far as Xbox is concerned. You can get a backbone device for your phone or your tablet. And there's any number of third-party controllers that can achieve the same thing, but you're still stuck streaming at the end of the day. These are not games that are stored locally on your device. So if you happen to be you know, away from your home or a place where the Wi-Fi isn't that great, well, guess what? You're not going to be gaming. Whereas a true Xbox handheld, however, if you've got the game stored on on the device and you know, got them stored locally you fire it up and take it wherever you go and honestly that really appeals to me you know i have a series x and i have a playstation 4 pro and, and other consoles but due to obligations with my kids my wife my job i don't have just a ton of time to dedicate to sit down with a controller in my hand in front of the television playing the game so something like that that i can pick up and take with me and play as I want to, put it down when I need to, that really does have some strong appeal. You know, when time is limited, portable portable devices are fantastic. Um, I do wonder if you purchase games on your Series X or your Xbox One, I, I don't know if it'll necessarily work with those devices in tandem. That'd be cool if it did. I can't imagine it wouldn't. Uh, you know, if you, if you buy a game for one, does it port over, is it going to port over to the other, you know, without you having to pay an extra? There's like a lot of questions, but at the end of the day, I'm going to say yes, again, without having 
any more information than we have beyond speculation at this point, I'm tentatively geeked. I just hope that it isn't way too pricey. I think if they release a device like that and they go over four or five hundred dollars uh, in this economy, I don't think that's going to work very well. I just, at the end of the day, I really, really, really hope it's just not a dedicated streaming device. What do y'all think? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go into work so y'all have a wonderful afternoon and you take it easy.